Mm-hmm. I just want to say before we uh, start talking to Colin Quinn, how great was Tommy Shaw? Phenomenal, motherfucker! Really good, man. I by felt the like way, an asshole. Why were you feeling like an because asshole? Because I, I, I've done nothing but trash that band forever, and then he comes on and he's fucking awesome. I was, I, I gotta say, I was a big Sticks fan uh, growing up. I forgot. I know. I don't know what it was. It was actually, I liked the earlier stuff. Absolutely, what, the that, earlier that, stuff. It's more like that later stuff. It was uh, the, uh, Mr. Roboto was uh, a good song I for like, like song. for like a guilty pleasure, like a like like a goof. I hate to say that, but too much time. A goof. But too much time on my hands is when <laughs> the band lost me with all that. <laughs> that lady, babe, all that. I, I couldn't. I couldn't stand it. So then I felt like an asshole. Yeah, but you got to go a little deeper, like uh, castles. What was that castle song? Castles and. Uh, uh, Castles in the Sands. Uh, that's uh, yeah, believe me. I wanted to say that, but I was afraid I know, it would be wrong. I, 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 it's right. Castles. Uh, castles in uh, the sky. Castles. Only find it in places they have castles. Oh, castles in oh, sky. Uh, he was great. He was great. That's what we're getting at. I'm, we just, I'm trying to mind? throw some sticks knowledge. Who gives a shit? Even if I had it, he was just telling me some vocal tricks about uh, what. Just about like your voice and me, 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 me. He yeah, said that you had a warm up. Really fucking good, man. Yeah, yeah. At this hour, to be able to pull that off. Guy was hitting those high notes. He had some nice like rasp to his voice yeah. too and shit when he, he was wanted cool. to. cool. And I told and he was a good interview. And I told him, why didn't we think about that years ago, where you get these guys just to play a piece of a song? Because then you get a lot more songs out of it. Yeah, you get like a verse and then a chorus, another verse, and then you're done. Usually, a lesson like that comes in. They play uh, an old classic and then their new song and that's it. Time we got go. four or five songs out of them. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Say to everybody that comes in, hey, do your fucking greatest hits for us. <laughs> yeah, come on. Montage <laughs> like your that. hits. Go. All right, Colin Quinn <laughs> lost a lot of weight. Yeah, I told you. 40 pounds, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'd say 40. Wow. Maybe 50. Jesus. Maybe 50. Maybe 50. Are you shitting me? 50? Yeah. Is right. it depression or are you no, actually trying to do something? Way. The AIDS. I like the way he says it's pressure you're actually trying to do something. I'm actually trying to do something. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about Billy's. All right, I'm sorry, Colin. No, I. that's exactly right. That's a legitimate question. But I'm trying to do something. That's what it is. No, you're doing oh, yeah. something good. A one-man show, my friend. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's called good. My Two Cents. Mm-hmm. It's about the economy, but it's not boring, I swear to God. Where is it? <laughs> At the Roy Arias Theater on West 43rd Street, starting next week for two weeks. That's fucking cool. I'd like an advanced ticket. I would like to see that Everybody show. Everybody pays. I produce it myself. You choose a lot. I didn't say I wouldn't pay. <laughs> Everybody pays. I, what an asshole. I know. We're trying to be nice as Everybody guy. pays. This son of a bitch goes, I'd like an advanced ticket. support the guy. Do you remember who was supporting you when you were sad? That's Your right. Your friends, Opie and Anthony. Yes, of course. But So look, give us a free ticket. You don't want a free ticket. Everybody pays. <laughs> Everybody I fucking pays. laid out 15 grand for this goddamn thing. I'm what is you, you, what is you appreciate it more when you what pay a, for it. What a shit Thank thing. You, then Anthony. you're like, you know now what? I You want to be those showbiz this. guys that have money but don't pay for shitty little shows? It's yes. 40 bucks. You won't even notice. Mine. How All about right. half price? <laughs> Give me half price. I want to sell that. I want to sit next to Jerry. One. So we feel like we're getting something. Two for yeah, one. Jerry. I think you can sit next to Jerry. When's but the I, premiere? I'll pay for I'll it. I'll give you a plug. Of all the nerve, this son of a bitch, <laughs> I told you, I caught him years ago selling his CDs, and if he autographed them, it was an extra 10 bucks. <laughs> oh, me? No. Yeah. Did you Never. ever do that, Jimmy? My Never. friend from Dallas says he swears by it. <laughs> Your friend from Dallas? Who would fucking <laughs> friend from idiot? Who fucking from Oswald? What asshole from Dallas? <laughs> he was it's fucking Clay Bertrand. <laughs> 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 Some male prostitute. That's <laughs> like <laughs> that fucking. <laughs> Uh, by the way, because uh, people can't move on, the, on the, the song end, I was. I do have a lovely. Uh, no, no, sorry. <laughs> the, the song was Castle Walls, so now we can finally move on from that dumb oh, castle song. No, I never charged for an autograph. I, I didn't like Billy Burr's posture during the song. He was slumped over like. Was he trying like to be yeah. fucking Did I not king? explain myself? I just so said, I felt it. like I, no, 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 I, said, no, I said on air. I said I felt you like an know. asshole because not only have I trashed and made fun of that band, I was making fun of it on the way in. And then he comes in, he's fucking awesome. He's a great guy and everything. I was just one of those like, ah, oh, God, I'm a douchebag. You did explain yourself perfectly, but I just wanted to trash you anyway about it. <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> a too cool. I thought you could make fun of my of comedy club t shirt. I figured you'd go with that. Oh, the yeah, road hack. That is pretty Rough disgusting. Why don't you move the mic closer, Carl? You're fucking leaning into it like a fucking the fact porpoise. That, the fact that uh, Tommy <laughs> Shaw... <laughs> <laughs> the fact that Tommy Shaw knew uh, Jimmy Norton's that material. Hurts. That hurts. That, 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 little that, little he knew bit. Jimmy Zach? Oh, yeah. He's oh, yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah. We saw you. We watched your uh, DVD on the bus. On the and... tour bus, yeah. You know how oh, it is. Celebrities course. recognize each other. What am I going to do? What happens? <laughs> they all know the kid. Oh. We got Jimmy Norton on the video. <laughs> we got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, that's great. We brought uh, Colin in to promote the one man show, but also talk about Scorch. We found some oh. gold. Some gold. Yeah, well, Colin, uh, big fan of the Scorch. I love yeah. Scorch. Well, who doesn't love Scorch? About Lady Di and Marion remind me of the Dennis the Young. Yes, <laughs> Marion's hair. Marion had the Dennis the Young hair. Remember? It was the Dennis the Young hair she did. Oh, that helmet head. <laughs> oh, horrible. I really did just want to shove a face mask right in front of it. It was like a stormtrooper hat hair. Yeah. made of dryer lint. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awful. With a lisp, like, an obese oh, gout. <laughs> awful <laughs> gout. Gout on her face. <laughs> a fucking but fat still, disaster. I dare anybody. I defy anybody. And at the time, the MTV Music Awards were considered very hip. Was, oh, yeah, yeah. I defy anybody to do anything funnier than these two, bringing those two as their fucking dates. <laughs> and then, oh, refused, and, yeah. and then the we funniest were, thing ever. But we refused to interview anyone. Uh, I know they were like, "Hi!" Remember Dale I, Earnhardt? They did uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. We lost oh, fucking Mick Jagger walked oh over and they God. said hi, and he walked away. <laughs> he walked yeah. away. Management hated us. They didn't get the bit. We're like, "No, the bit is we're there, but we're not going to interview nobody." It was nobody. The, the publicity people that kept like ushering the people away because, uh, like you said, Mick Jagger was coming over, uh, and then the handlers saw Lady Di and Marion <laughs> and just went, "Oh no, no, no!" and like would push them away. Like they're, they're they're taking a bullet for him. <laughs> ah, <laughs> it's horrible. Because that's so great. Is in the middle of this show that at the time thought, and they were like really popular MTV. It that thinks of itself as the hippest, yeah. fucking beautiful people. Even though they would never say that about themselves, they're too hip to know. Of course, but they thought they were just the, everybody's just dressed and fucking. And to see those two <laughs> wretches of the fucking, as if I can quote the Statue of Liberty, the wretched refuse, wretched refuse, <laughs> standing there like all enthusiastic and like, hi, Dale Earnhardt Jr. I'm sorry about your father. I'm sorry about your father. yelling like, like, what are you wearing or who are you Where wearing? They're just, I'm sorry to hear about your father, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Come over here, we want to talk to you. Wearing like, oh fucking, my God, you didn't. Wearing see like that. Jimmy Buffett in Orlando t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> no, they got their hair done for the day. Yeah, thing. they got all gussed. They went to the parlor, Colin. They were all gussied up. And they got new dresses from, like, uh, Kmart or something. You're oh, forgetting yeah. the fit. The they, fuck? They took it very crazy. seriously. Yeah, I know. It's the greatest thing of all time. Hey, you, oh, you got a clip fantastic. of that? Fantastic. We got to find a clip of that. The funniest okay. part of fucking Lady Di with that awful hair <laughs> was when, when, they, when they made her fucking paint a little black mustache on herself, and every time she walked in, they played oh, the, 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 the fucking the, the, the Laurel and Hardy music. She looked just like him <laughs> with that greasy fucking 1920s hairdo she had on. That music. Uh, uh, that. Uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, Marion, we have to ask some questions. <laughs> I was just trying to get Dale Earnhardt Jr. He's very upset at you. Sorry about your well, father. Now, let me have it. The pie. Let me have it. And if they ever recover, that's the saddest part is the tragedy. Is that they ended like Edgar Allan Poe <laughs> and like Van Gogh? Their their genius led to madness. <laughs> yeah, Lady Di ended up homeless, blowing fucking men under the train tracks. Yeah. It was wonderful. <laughs> good, good for her. <laughs> exactly. Oh. That's called. Uh, that's pretty much what should have happened. Oh, she should have been found like that oh, fucking well, nanny in she's Boston. Better half by of now. her. <laughs> Would have weighed as much as a regular person, but <laughs> on the dumpster, yeah, old dumpster nanny. <laughs> Just wonder, you wanted to see a torso floating in the front. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, did I want to see a police boat fucking gaffing her onto the deck? Yeah, electrical <laughs> tape around her fucking fat wrist. <laughs> She's all bloated and fucking oh, black or blue. That's it. Let's see fucking diamonds cutting her back. Oh. They photograph a moth, moth pupa in her throat. Her fucking rotten Wrangler jeans stuck to her fat legs. Fat swollen feet. Go on now. We'll make fun of her now. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take care of her from here. Y'all took her this far. Uh, oh, was she a parrot head? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and then we got Scorch there, Colin. Yeah, yeah. Well, and we found Scorch some gold is, uh, with, with uh, Scorch that we want to play for you. Tell you know, Scorch, Scorch, had a, Scorch has a TV show. Yeah. Yeah, I heard he's going to... Sam was telling me. Why don't you uh, uh, convey some of your favorite Scorch moments? Well, just oh, any well. kind of when he gets rowdy with any kind of like, you know, hey, today was like midget. I remember just listening. He always had like these great things and they were like... 
You know, it was like shock jock, 1988 shit, you know. <laughs> Only it was 2000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like, hey, today we got midget, naked, wrestling. I mean, it's, Dude, uh, do show dressing, do show dressing. <laughs> that was a great one. Is it do show dressing? And Colin was reminding us at the time we had our listeners throw yellow paint on him while he, he was in a cage. trying to do some good <laughs> He's trying to do some good charity work for animal rights, which everyone agrees with. So he goes in a cage like a dog. And uh, actually, when I was going to visit a guy who went to the Prospect Park, he was tripping on acid. One of the workers there and locked himself in the cage, my friend's brother. And it became like a national story. Meanwhile, he's just tripping. And he locked himself in like, these animals are mistreated, but he's just like tripping, you know? Mm. And it became like, hey, this guy's like deep, you know? He's just like dirty. <laughs> he's deep. He's like a mescaline down fucking chain smoke. <laughs> so fun. But Squash did his version of that in Syracuse. Or now I heard he's, Sam tells me he's now in Manchester. Manch yeah, it's Vegas. a good market. No, yeah, they they, they call it what again? Manch Vegas. Manch Vegas. Manch Vegas. Why do they call it that? I have no idea. There's no reason for it either. The place I'm is sure the furthest a... thing from Vegas. <laughs> just... I'm sure there's a clever uh, reason for that. <laughs> oh, my God. They're, it... they're, they're, they're just pumping up, uh, punching up the, the coolness factor. Just by putting Vegas yeah. on a name like... Well, because yeah. people think it's like not so much a party town with a name like Manchester, but it is. And so they have to bring it up to Manch Vegas, letting people know, you know, if Las Vegas is a little far, Manch Vegas is right. So around the is corner. there gambling there? Probably not. I don't know. If it's are, there, are there are there casino like ho maybe is hotels? Some shiny lights, big light <laughs> shows. No, it's not like no, it's not known for that. So, so it's much. nothing like Vegas. I, I, it's more the spirit. <laughs> the spirit of Vegas. Spirit. <laughs> As the suffix. What's what? Yeah, what goes on? In, oh, I don't even know the saying anymore. Are we gonna get what happens in Manch Vegas stays, stays in Manch Vegas? Is that because nobody that cares? Is? Yeah, because <laughs> no one gives a shit. What happens in that Manch Vegas stinks. Story. <laughs> Are we gonna give uh, Colin a little? We have to give him please. 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 There's I'd one. You've got to see it. Do we want to replay the? Uh, well, I say just the part where he's where he's explaining. There's a scene where where Scorch kind of gets a little bit serious, and, and I think that's important. I emailed Danny some clips. I think at least. It, the first part of Give the me. first episode that we already watched. Yeah. And then there's uh, some other clips that show some of the really cool segments that he does on PFG TV. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get this set up for you. Uh, Colin, let's not forget My Two Cents, a one-man show with Colin Quinn starting next week. When's it start? When, when's the, when's the uh, celebrity premiere? <laughs> Yeah, you got one of those? Yeah, when's the start? Wednesday, yeah, yeah, when can Jim walk the carpet? No, Wednesday is what? Just opening Wednesday's night? Wednesday's the opening night, but I mean, that's when the celebrity premiere, that's when if Jerry, I haven't contacted oh. Jerry, but if Jerry comes and, and Anthony will get to sit next to his favorite celebrity at my show is my Aunt Martha. Hitler. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was Hitler's birthday last week. Yes, it was. And we're sitting there and there's this writer for Anthony Giselle writing for Jimmy Fallon, he's a comedian. So I stop him and he's like, Hitler's birthday, I go, you gotta have a joke for it. So just then, Norton passes by, and I go, Jim, he, I set it up for him, and he came through like the clutch. I go, Jim, hey, everybody, Jimmy Fallon, welcome to me. I pretend it was Jimmy. Hitler's birthday is tomorrow, is today. And Jim goes, how can you, you know how hard it is to find a cake with six million candles? <laughs> oh, shit. I did that on the show the Oof. next day. Oof. <laughs> That's a bad one. That was a good joke. It is a good joke. one, but it's Thank one you. of those, oof. Yeah. Here it is, his scorch. First of all, just the fact that Anthony said oof. Is it July 1st, Colin, well, your premiere? He must be under some chargers. July 1st, it's May 6th, it's next Wednesday. Yeah, let's get Oh, to we're in, hold on. What are we in now? We're July in May. Yes, it's July 1st. Oh, I say oh. oof to cover up the fact that I had people over and a party on the 20th. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that oop sounds like you know, community it? service oop. Well, <laughs> here it is, here it is, scorch. Uh, but I said it wasn't a celebration of the man's birthday and stuff. It was more a celebration look of his back work. At, <laughs> <laughs> a look back at the era, uh, you know, and what it took to defeat uh, the fascism and, and, and the Nazis. Right. And, uh, mm -hmm. It's like, you know, it's like uh, 80s remembrance. night at like a nightclub. Lest we forget. 80s night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like retrospective. Please play some of this for Carl. Yeah, let's yes. go. Here let's we go. go. So, so the setup, Carl, uh, I think we said it, but he does a TV show from a Chinese restaurant on a Tuesday night. Well, what? the Chinese restaurant has since burned to the ground. Yeah, it burned to the ground. But oh, well, well, it was scorched to the ground. He's no. trying to do a TV show. There's 20 people there. You can hear them talking among themselves and ordering food. This is something he does uh, on a, what, weekly basis? Yes, PFG yeah. TV is a weekly a show. A weekly show. He goes out and just look at the subtleties, like the panning of the 
crowd. Yeah. Okay. And him talking up the crowd. I, like the, I see the pool table in the back already. <laughs> yeah. That's, see? Always, that's always the place you get good Chinese food. There's a pool table <laughs> in the dining room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Nobody there. No. You see all those transitions, the new shots of the audience? Yeah. Yeah. They're using that like early 80s video design <laughs> technique. Exactly. So every <laughs> wedding video <laughs> has that <laughs> dissolved. Close your screens. Give it up. Help me. Get the PFG. Is that him? Yeah. yeah. I've never seen him in person. Wow. <laughs> Stream close up so you don't realize it's one row deep. PFG TV, the TV show. We have got someone is going to spin for the first time ever. The wheel those bags under his eyes. Jesus. Meat. <laughs> The spinning of the wheel of meat. I've heard about the wheel of meat forever. Amazing. Also, I know the wheel of meat from school. Look at the tarp. That's like he should be covering a boat. It's <laughs> part of his set is a tarp. And special musical guest. Kill that feedback. Wait, somebody lower that or something. Good one. Special <laughs> musical guest. Vegas temper. Yeah. Good one. He walks away. Yes. So before I go any further, I want to talk about a couple of things. Anybody hear about the SWAT team that went through Manchester the other day? No. No. Nobody? Did you hear about that? It happened outside my house. It happened outside my house. <laughs> <laughs> that is I the best. I was out for a walk. All of a sudden, I see these guys dressed. I thought it was Columbine. I see these guys dressed up in full, like a uh, uh, camouflage. All you can see is their eyes. And I hear them say, we're going to set up right this here. monologue. The first thing that came yeah. to my mind was Columbine. Shit, my house is in trouble. I'm probably going to get killed right here. Second thing that came to mind is, uh-oh, maybe it's the DEA. So as true, because the Columbine kids all wore those... Well, those outfits, they were those uh, yeah, yeah, exa outfits. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, he yeah. thought it was Columbine. Even though, and yeah. I like how he mentioned it, though, earlier. And the guy said, that happened right in front of my house. And, and he ruined he ruined Scorch's whole bit there. Because he, he had to go, no, it happened in front of my house. <laughs> and I don't live near you. No, they both live in the same shitty apartment, apartment <laughs> complex. <laughs> the formerly singles apartment complex for people trying to get away from the Formerly <laughs> the mad, the mad hum, humdrum of Boston, and they moved up to Manchester. Mass Vegas. Mass right, Vegas. Mass Vegas. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> but he's he has he has like he has no comic timing, <laughs> none or delivery. He has no comic style whatsoever. It's good. He he just agrees with hecklers. Just, yeah, 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 right. You're an yeah. asshole. You're an asshole. <laughs> I want to repeat what they said. It's like a four-year-old. That's my house. It's like Columbine. They were dressed uh, like angels, or something. <laughs> dressed like astronauts. <laughs> what? He's the fucking. He's the best. The awful turtleneck. It's like <laughs> Donald Pleasance. <laughs> fucking horrendous. <laughs> a nice tight three-minute setup. Oh, it's just <laughs> abysmal. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes set up with every detail digressing into other shit. And what well, you what well, you can't see at home, he's talking with the pointer finger and pinky pointed out like with yes. the devil horns. Like that's that's his move. He gesticulates. Yeah, he, that's his move. Mm -hmm. Can we please see more? I want to hear the punch. Eight thirty, like an hour ago, I was actually still pulling balloons full of crap out of like my backyard because my stash was gone because I ain't gonna get in trouble yet. Yeah. How many people enjoy right a good on. stash? That Anybody enjoy good stash? Yeah. Yeah. Give it yeah. up for your waste stash. <laughs> That was the joke. How many enjoy good... Oh, it was that he was afraid they were going to steal his drugs? Steal his yeah. drugs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of entertainment you get it there in Manch Vegas. Yeah. PFG TV. The TV show. That's right. Good. More.
<laughs> what else was going on, man? I mean, like I was talking, me and Nick were talking about this, about the whole Elvis thing. Why, whatever happened, like, why is so cool about Elvis, you know? Sure. Why is there no, why doesn't Charles Nelson Riley ever get seen at a 7-Eleven? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll, 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 take, a, I'll take a burrito <laughs> in a hot shell magazine. No, it's just going true. You know what I mean? What, what's up with that? Why is it always Elvis? Elvis? I'm not a fan of Elvis. I love Charles Nelson Riley. Not that way. Uh, he might have liked him, but not that way. Uh, I, got I get it. Colin, you like this? He's, um... Yes. <laughs> and who's who's been I love this? Actually. Who's been talking about an Elvis sighting in the last fifteen no one years? One. I mean, that, <laughs> I just love. Hey, hey, you see Elvis at uh, Seven Eleven? No one ever sees Charles Nelson Riley. <laughs> <laughs> he just barrels through the setup punch right to the next <laughs> oh, thing. Yeah. And I love Charles Nelson Riley, not that way, but you know he's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like what the fuck? It's just, he has like fucking Star Search concepts for setups. <laughs> 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 Horrible. Oh, he's atrocious. <laughs> but it's good. he is correct. <laughs> no one doubts his facts, or no one doubts the historical accuracy of his right. material. Yeah. He is correct. A little more score. <laughs> so anyway, we got a great night of score tonight, you know what I mean? Because uh, I want to introduce uh, Nick and Jolanda and Jeff Hart. He has the worst crew ever. This is our favorite part of tonight. We have a PFG disciple that is the ultimate in PFG disciples. Where's Brian? Is Brian out there? PFG disciple, they're Brian, called. Because yeah, Brian disciples. did something that, honest to God, my mother would t not only take me out of her will, but she would never have sex with me again if I did, if I did what Brian did. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is PFG to me. Okay. Oh my, oh my God! God. Was everybody <laughs> yeah, that's what we everybody said. I want my, he I want tattooed my, my PFG on his arm. <laughs> Because what I want to start talking oh, about today. All right, stop this. Just to set it up. Score. First of all, his fucking his partner next to him, Mr. Fucking Gazzo from Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, either that or it looks like uh, Clemenza uh, in the in two oh, when he went yeah. to steal the rug. <laughs> Scorch is about ready to tell everyone why he does PFG TV, Colin. Yeah. Oh. And then he uh, asked the same question to his staff. To his staff. It's just good, good to watch him get serious. I think he's shooting this in that same ball when Nicole Kidman killed Matt Dillon in that movie. <laughs> you know, when it's like, uh, she kills her husband, what's it called? I don't know. Die for? Yes. Eyes wide shut. Oh. Oh, yeah. She kills Matt Dillon. <laughs> Oh, we're not going to play anymore? Yeah, play it. <laughs> we we, we <laughs> should. Help me. Brian, a, great, a great question to me the other day. Great. Uh, great Brian question. said, why do you do what you do, and why do you love doing uh, what you do? Uh, so I want to answer the question. I want to give everybody here the chance to answer the question. I love doing what I do. It's going to sound really hokey and gay, but you know what? And I want you guys to turn around. I love doing what I do. <laughs> hey, hold, on, you hold on, hold on. Hold on, please. <laughs> He goes, it's going to sound hokey. And I want you to turn around. See, because at this point, they are all at the bar facing away from him. <laughs> no shit. And, and he's going to tell them why he does what he does. And this is very sincere. And he wants them to, he has to actually ask them to turn <laughs> around. around. I want to put a beer They're on. They're ordering shots. Please, oh. everybody, if you could just give a shit for a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to put a beard on Bob Kelly. I want this to be fucking Bob. <laughs> right there. Uh, I want to give everybody here the chance to answer your question. I love doing what I do. It's going to sound really hokey and gay, but you know what? And I want you guys to turn around. I love doing what I do because of you guys. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, I said I love doing what I do because of you guys. <laughs> when I was a little kid, I was a little fat, picked on little kid. You know what I mean? And uh, now uh, I would like to say that I've seen some of the people I've gone to school with. And you know what? <laughs> I'm looking good. People look at me. I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. I got these fat slobs that I went to school with. Has anybody noticed that? The girls you go to school with that were hot are now fat slobs. Yeah, Anyone's right. picking on you? You were right, Rupert, <laughs> and we were wrong. <laughs> What's funny is though is he's he's acting like he's a success now, like like almost like here I sit at the at the zenith of the career. It's like yes. he's in a fucking a Chinese uh, yeah. place with a tarp behind him, mm -hmm. bombing. I was your high school principal, <laughs> Rupert. I like how he's sitting down like he's Cosby. 
Yeah, he's, yeah. he's earned that. It's just all I, I can smooth. even sit down and suck. <laughs> <laughs> he gets up, he approaches the camera. It's like interactive. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that rot, that fucking rotten crew of his, I can't <laughs> stop looking at them. I know. That's the, the worst supporting cast ever. <laughs> He's horrible. But he is dressed like the young Vito Corleone, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how Vito was dressed. The little... Yeah, the little mustache. <laughs> His fucking partners are just complete asses. <laughs> I do what I do because of you. you. Well, you. let's not forget, Sam was one of his partners at one point. That's true. It's, if I hadn't come here, I could have been you, on... You'd have been TV. right there. You'd have been sitting right there in this video. I Big TV star in Manchester. Yeah, you. but you wouldn't have paid your dues. You would have taken it for granted. And Sam, you up. Sam, why do you do what you do? <laughs> <laughs> what would you have answered? Turn around. Uh, coincidentally enough, the same reason as Scorch, for the people. Yeah. For all the, for yeah. All the people. For the people. I mean, I What's there for the people? Yeah. By the way, I feel very yeah. sad that... Uh, my last appearance when I forced with David to do a Hebrew sports, apparently that was the <laughs> finish of his career. <laughs> that was it. I go, David, you still doing Hebrew news? No. I'm not doing anything. That's the last anything. time you don't like me anymore. He, well, now he, he had a catchphrase kind of a thing where he would go like, whoa, whoa. And, and now he can't good, even do it right. That's a good catchphrase. It's sure a great is. catchphrase. He just went like, whoa. whoa. He was so shocked. He would go like, whoa, whoa. And now it's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, all right. Is we it get like it. a Joey Lawrence kind of thing? Yeah. Whoa. Yes. Now he's way over the top with it now. But that and, went, yeah. I think that's, you know. Yeah, he ruined it for himself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's uh, find out why the rest of the guys. Yeah, yeah, please. Please. Yeah, yeah, please. Fatter yeah. slobs and fatter slobs. Nobody's gotten better but you. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I love doing what I do. That's identifiable material. No like one's gotten better except for you. That shows a man who's really done some insightful uh, soul searching in his life. As he sits in the Chinese no restaurant. No one's done better than me except for you to all fat slobs. My life ends like that. It's perfect. It's fucking home video. And then he always ends with, yeah. They screwed me, and now I'm better than them. But if, if my it, life inside is over. If this is his better, what was he before? I yes. know. Just like a lump of shit. We could get, uh, hang out the windows and spit on people as they walk by and go, hey, suckers, how does it feel? Fucking Rupert. He used to it's pick the on best. him because he used to actually draw that beard on in second grade and wear that turn <laughs> The uh, first hand reaction of the people. I love to be able to be me. I like to get paid to be me. However, little or about, you know, a, a lot we get paid, I enjoy a paycheck to be me. Oh. I like making a living out of having fun. You know what I mean? There's, how many people in here have fun at their jobs? Yeah, you know? They all say yeah, yeah, but they're not supposed to be clapping no, at that. No, he's like, no, guys, you're not supposed to. <laughs> yes, I'm having fun at my job, and I'm getting paid. How many people actually get to do that? Yeah. And everyone claps, and it's like, well, it kind of shoots my little fucking yeah, speech to shit. Yeah, they when you say, how many people here? And let's right. be honest, <laughs> I can speak for myself and these two creep comedians. Whenever you're watching this, a little body gut is like, how many times have I been in that fucking bar <laughs> yeah. trying to make 30 people turn around and listen to my fucking shit? <laughs> yeah, go Rick and 99s. <laughs> they, just hear, hear, they just hear like, how many people blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I, bet, blah, 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 blah. I bet that's what Hitler was saying, and just in German. That's yeah, how he got yeah. him to come around. How many people hate Jews? Yes. Yeah, yeah what did he say? Yeah. How, how many, many people can't... Give me another stein of beer. No, how many people can't figure out why the economy in Germany keeps fucking up every time? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many people are so hungry and it's like, it seems like one group of people, I don't know, is doing good. <laughs> yeah, Heil. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I'm with you, bro. <laughs> Please, more. We here have a lot of great time. So, uh, the bottom line is, I like uh, doing what I do. And once again, this is going to sound really hokey because what I do to me is PFG. So, let's hear it for us. Yeah! Now, what I want to do is, I want to ask Nick, and I want to pass it on. Nick Carpinelli, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -huh. What are we supposed to do when I say, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Carpinelli? You say, what? There you go. Oh, what did they so say? Hi, Nick? Yeah. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. That's clever. That's something different. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. Uh, the reason I do what I do is 
I know he said something about being hokey and stuff. He looks like but Voss. Got- yeah, <laughs> he has no idea, he too. Like he's, he's like Voss if Voss were more insightful. <laughs> <laughs> Two kids, they're teenagers, and I just want to be remembered for doing something. Okay, I don't want to be boss. the guy that was, you know, I was, uh, I was cleaning his uh, pool. No, I don't want to be that guy. One of my kids be a pool dad. cleaner asshole. <laughs> I would be exactly. <laughs> Isolate half the audience. How many pool cleaners, cleaners are out there? I just <laughs> want. I just want to be remembered for doing something. Something. <laughs> and this and this is what he considers being remembered? <laughs> I've got three daughters. And I just want them to look down and go, Daddy was good. <laughs> and I'm dodging her. <laughs> yeah, Voss is fucking Voss is vain reaching for a poignant moment. It's in fucking it's humiliating to watch. <laughs> Not one poignant act in fifty two years. It's been fucking just non uh, meaningless nonsense on top of itself. <laughs> I told you my favorite point. Uh, I think it was either on the show or he called in that day after nine eleven. He goes, "I was on the Jersey. Of course, he was on the Jersey side where he fucking belonged." <laughs> and he's like, "I was on the Jersey side." And my daughters go, "What happened, Daddy?" Well, this is probably made up too by that fool. <laughs> and I go, "Honey, girls, there are some people that just don't like us." Oh, God. Because that was the yes, he called in the show and said, uh, I heard no, one I here. You. That was the extent uh, of his knowledge. I wouldn't have been listening anyway. <laughs> that was all he knew. <laughs> <laughs> what are they, Daddy? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been two years afterwards. I still, I'm not sure who it was. It yeah. might be Indonesian. Who knows? <laughs> He's I coming in tomorrow. Oh, is he? Uh, yeah, boss would be here uh, tomorrow. What a fucking boob. I don't know if we're going to have time to get to the scorched bits. Oh, Love well, this. this part is still good. Is this their holiday episode where they felt they needed to give back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the very special episode? Yeah. Well, this is the first one. Yeah. All right, hit it. Uh, <laughs> I just want my kids to be able to be proud. I want my kids to be able to say, hey, you know what? My dad was Nick Carpinelli from Rock 101 or Nick Carpinelli from The Mill or Nick Carpinelli from PFG TV. But no matter what, I want my kids to be able to say, you know what? My dad was that guy. That's what I want. That's the one That's thing they will say. <laughs> My dad is that guy. <laughs> anybody play? Anybody playing comics this week? Says uh, just got an email from comics that said the other guy from Opie and Anthony will appear this Thursday. No. Yeah, that that's Jim Norton, the other guy from Bobby and Anthony. Right. <laughs> Are you on comics? Nope. That guy. You there all weekend at comics? Nope. Oh, that's Not great, Jimmy. Good. <laughs> My dad is Maybe that Bill guy. Barrett is embarrassed to say it. No, he's, got he's, got he's got Caroline. He's got Caroline. Oh, old school, huh? They sent out a mass email. Who the fuck is promoting their? Appearance? Maybe it's. Boss. I was gonna do a spot. Um, on, on my friend on my friend's show, but I told him I'm not being announced and don't plug special guests or any of that shit. Well, guess what? They just not did. happening. Now I'm not doing. I'm absolutely not doing oh, the gig. Oh, so it is uh, you. Absolutely. It was. I was gonna do it uh, just a set like I would do at Why the comedy the cellar. Why do they do that? Because I asked, I fucking, fucking asked out. them not to do that shit. I would do a it twenty was. minute set. I was going to go on early like every other fucking comic. Not doing it. Don't you do it for the people? No, I, I told them I will not be advertised here because I work <laughs> fucking Caroline's. That's the way going, all right. We, uh, not happening. We're not going to announce you, but they say the other guy from Open Fucking Anthony? not happening. Mass, I will not be at comics. That's a mass email that just went out. All right, well, good. Oh, I shit. hope people show up. I'm not going. Why don't you go to PFG TV instead? Yeah. Because you can't get booked on there. It's fucking <laughs> way too far in advance. They have Matthew Fox. They have all the best. Why can't they just let you walk out as a nice surprise? Not oh, happening. Jesus. We like the guys. They got Fuck them. What the fuck is that about? <laughs> there you go. It was Jimmy, but Jimmy's not going to do it now. All right. Uh, sorry, Jimmy. No, no, dude. I appreciate you I saying just, that. It just popped. And the I'm other like, guy from Opie and Anthony. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fucking work a gig like that for fucking like a $25 set like I would do at the cellar. Right. That, that's exactly what I would do. Right. You're just doing someone a favor. They have to pump it up and make it this whole thing. Just let it be a, a thing. Don't uh, don't rattle your iPhone. It was like just that. a set like any other set. Like it was like yeah. you know my my friend is doing it, and it was like you go on like you know we we do the you, you do the cellar, you do stand up New York, yeah. or you do any other I culture. Got yeah. All right, sorry. Back I heard you were going to do props that night too. I was. I had a whole bunch of them. I had a I had, I, I had a black <laughs> penis and a white penis, and I was going to put them both in front of me and go ah. <laughs> <laughs> That would probably kill. That probably <laughs> would. Oh, would. I tell you. That would kill. Be honest with you. <laughs> All right, back to PFG. A little more Scorch. And for those that don't know, Nick was my very first intern at Rock 101 in wow. like 1980. Oh, poor Sam. Ah, Sam. So, uh, so me and Nick have had a pass. Jolanda, the girl Wanda. 
Joanna, why do you do what you do and why do you love it so much? Well, Scorch, when is your birthday? I do it for all the cops. Okay. So my it is. My birthday is September 10th. Right. And when I first talked right, to Scorch, it was when everything he just said, I feel the same way. Wow. I think that people have to tell me, like, wow, you're so comfortable in front of a crowd. But it's more like, I just like to have a good time. Where's the crowd? Exactly. And, well, let's do it. She means she's uncomfortable on the no, bottom of the crowd. She's like a fucking groupie from the 70s. But thanks. I'm comfortable with, like, a bass player and a drummer <laughs> shitting in my mouth at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I could be dressed way sluttier right now, and I'm not. I have so. pictures. I'll show you. Actually, their man is here. He has pictures, too. We traded. Um, and then our favorite, so, Scott Shannon and Stephen um, King's. Uh... So I just have a really good time. I love leading the good time. Shut and up. Rock on, rock out. I'm so Aren't happy you guys to are like... tonight. We're going to have a blast. And we're always going to have a blast on PFG TV. Thank you. Yeah. She's on, her last appearance was on Intervention as a meth addict of <laughs> <at> the family. <laughs> How can they seriously say something like that PFG TV thing and and take it like? Why well, aren't you this supposed seriously? to like have like a history, build a following, and then look yeah, back? Yeah, before you, don't you start, can do this, you, you know, start with a retrospective. You don't start with a look back. You know, I remember the first time I saw Scorch walk out with the mic three minutes ago. It was a magic moment. <laughs> Didn't you read the he article? He did his Charles Nelson Riley band, his signature. <laughs> uh, more info on the comics gig, because I see Jimmy's steam. I, I can't I to, fucking tell you how angry I am. I, I try to calm me down. Now they're saying it might be Voss, because Voss is doing the gig. So maybe he's being promoted as the other guy from Opie and Anthony. No, it's not. They would just say his name. They would say Voss. They would Voss. say Rich Voss. All right. Well, I'm trying to help you out, because I see that. Look at how pissed they, they would say, first of all, if it was Voss, they'd say Rich <laughs> Voss. And then a minute later, after the pause of uncomprehension, the other guy from Opie and Anthony. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rich will be in here tomorrow with Bill Burr and the Iron Sheik. Yes. That's great. I didn't okay, shake. Well, can we please not piss him off? Because I really wanted to meet uh, Roddy Rowdy Piper. Do you really? Roddy Rowdy Piper. Those yes. Are the, the, yes. Any, any or brother? Rowdy Roddy. <laughs> Roddy Whatever Roddy. the hell his name is. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> Roddy Roddy. <laughs> Roddy Rowdy. Who Roddy, Roddy, like the Roddy. dream dusty American roads? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what his fucking name is. I want whatever. <laughs> Roddy Rowdy. That's a, that's a Rizzo Piper. What? Yeah. Call me Rowdy Roddy in my own goddamn house, would you? <laughs> <laughs> you just took a rest stop. Wasn't on the schedule. Fucking well, Jim, I don't blame you for being pissed off about that. I think people should protest the way you were treated by coming to Gotham Comedy Club this weekend. Ah. And, yeah, I agree. Are, are you performing there? Yes, I am. It's funny. I did see your name on the marquee. I think that's mm. where... Everyone should go this weekend to see uh, Colin Quinn, as opposed to actually going to see his theater show. This fucking dumbbell is plugging eight things in a row in the same city. Who the fuck he thinks he is, but apparently <laughs> Colin's doing everything. Paramount Theater, fucking Gotham, you want to see his one-man show? You're right, Jim. If anyone could learn restraint of promotion, I guess I learned from you, you <laughs> cock-sucking whore. <laughs> <laughs> fucking balls of him. <laughs> You can't get to an episode of this show without him naming his shitty What's fucking episode. <laughs> fucking old lady, shut up. A fucking episode. Wow. Episode of my program. Yeah, this goddamn podcast. You make it sound very important. We're, we do episodes. I like that. Yeah, Collins and Gotham Friday and Saturday. <laughs> ah, let me watch my stories. Leave me alone. I don't like your new. I don't like your grace. I'll tell you. Well, about. seriously, Collins on Friday. Well, I gotta, fuck yourself. I want. I want to plug it because this we way. We want your charitable well, shitty attitude. While we're. <laughs> <laughs> While we're jumping on Colin, I'll All tell jokes aside, Colin well, is a guy. Yeah, you're right. That I should be While we're there. jumping on Colin, I'll, I'll tell you why I hate Colin. Uh, Colin, you make it very hard for people to see you. Tickets, why? Tickets online. Ready for this, people? Oh. www.brownpapertickets.com. That's good so far. Slash event slash 63112. No, just go to oh. Fuck, you buy oh, tickets. All okay. right. That's easy. Well, why isn't that on your little thing? Because, because he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> why isn't that? Uh, you got to remember numbers and stuff. I know, I know. And backslashes. I know. Forget about that. We don't need backslashes. That was pretty, oh, that was pretty now. crazy. All right. Sorry, it's just on the promotional flyer. Don't worry about it. Okay, no big deal, right? I'm sorry, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's right. A <laughs> uh, little more scorch. You just happened to oh, run into Colin. He more can info. tell you the easier website to no. go to. More, more info. <laughs> more, info. In. more info on the comics gig. Now Matt Theo is just 
Well, he writes, the email also said, the other guy from Opie and Anthony that was also in Lucky Louie and Down and Dirty. No, I don't believe he's that close. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not Louis C.K. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> PFG? Did they, yeah. really, they really did say the other guy from Opie and Anthony, though? According to Matt Theo, yes. That's the only confirmation we have on it is Matt Theo? Uh, uh, a couple other guys. I think I get that in my corporate. I, I can go run check. Can we look at it? Because, yeah. you know, I don't, I'm not going to fucking bash the club. It's annoying. We like comics. Yeah, it's just I don't like they did it that. They're probably just excited mm -hmm. that they're going to have Nah, man, show. they they knew better. I, I asked him not to promote it, not to mention special. Just, just one of many acts. No one cares. People going for a show. I'm just doing yes. a set. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, PFG. <laughs> Jeff Lawrence, who... Me and Jeff met, now Nick had a barbecue at his house. I was like, you're Jeff Lawrence, I've heard of you. You might think it was at Nick's call. In his house. Yeah, it was at Nick's house. Like, you might have story. been a reader, maybe yeah. not much longer than me. With mesh t-shirts. Sure was. <laughs> tell us, you remember oh. that? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Jeff, tell us why you love doing yes. what you love to do. Oh, uh, basically, because I hate manual labor, but good for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, seriously. It's, it's something I've done for like That's 40 years now, and it's just, you know, when I, when I went to divorce, get divorced, when I, 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 told, I told the judge, basically, I'm a maverick and an oddball and unemployed doing anything else so this is what I do and I enjoy doing it and I do it because it's it's like uh, being a kid all the time and you never get old doing this and that's why I do it I do it because everybody seems to have a good time when you have these kind of things going on so I hope you enjoy yourselves Fuck it. <laughs> Do you know how long he was wow. working for that applause? He oh, kept putting that wow. hand out like in yeah, something that you guys were react to. He was something going, positive. Yeah, yeah. He was going for the save. Like, just yeah. start clapping and all hey, shut He's up. a maverick, though. <laughs> really? Well, that's what the judge told him during his divorce. You know, I'm maverick, I'm crazy, I'm, oh, I'm wild. I'm, <laughs> yeah. What are two fucking... characters? Now, we can't do Wheel of Me because we did that already. Right. Yeah. Uh, Colin, are you done with the PFG? You want to see one of his bits? No, that was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Colin, you didn't, like you, sorry, you didn't like my charitable. You sorry, you like my charitable. I didn't like your graciousness. <laughs> we like, okay, guys, back to professionalism. <laughs> because I'll tell you why I didn't like it. Because it was also not only was it charitable and condescending to me, but it was also self-serving. Because you're like, I have to make sure I get my plugs in. So let's cut the shit. No, I didn't need to plug myself. Shush, not today. I in know the future. future. Who You're cares? In the future. My Letterman Friday? Who gives a shit? I don't. That's their business. Let Dave run it when he wants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me and Keeper Sutherland. Blah, blah, blah. That's <laughs> a fucking thing to me, Carl. <laughs> Been there, done that. Did you shoot it already? I shot it Monday. You know, uh, my, the reason my one of my emails is Fat Kiefer is because one day Bob Kelly said I looked like a Fat Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> and he goes, what's the name of your show? 224. That's funny. <laughs> that was pretty damn funny. That is really good. <laughs> I wonder who said that to Bob first. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we got to get out of here. Yeah, look at the time. I got a tank sake. On. For Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. Can't somebody trash? Look, either mm -hmm. before we leave, somebody either trash his voice or I want Anthony to do Tony Danza. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a hell of a story. How about story. Tony Danza trashing come, I want it to be like, a, <laughs> yeah. I want it to be like, all right, how about Tony Danza, yeah, or Voss as Tony Danza? Yeah, how about Tony Danza as Voss? He used to do Bob Kelly Voss dice. It was the funniest Tony shit Danza, ever. Tony Danza. He did Bob Kelly Voss. dice. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude. Wow. Do. Well, yeah, but yeah. dice, anything dice is, yeah. you know, that works. All right, forget it. Religious dice. Colin, how about Vi Tony dice Dan as Voss? I haven't done Danza in fucking since... He was All on right, TV. He, how about Dice Voss? Oh. Colin, just, Colin has to be out of here for another... Who are you being interviewed by next? Sonny so Fox. Pe that your people are getting panicky out. You have people oh, now? No, they work on show. just they're come around. on the one-man show with me. You Colin, got, I want to go. You got people now, Colin. They're working on the show with me. You come in here with uh, your pajamas on, and now you got people. What's going on with you? They're working on the show with me. The girls, Rosie and Claire. What's I'm hoping Claire. after the premiere, Colin will be going to eat, and Jerry will be going to eat, and Jerry will go, hey, why don't you come? Like, all right, oh. I'm, I'm not doing nothing, why not? I love the fact that Jim is, was so <laughs> proud that Jerry sort of knew his name, but it really had to be, Jim had to date rape him for like a year, so he goes, oh, Jim. <laughs> no, I never, never. Oh, he called you James or something, remember? He calls, <laughs> no, he called me Norton. that's what they used to call me in high school, I don't know where he got that from. But Norton. Yeah, that's what they call me. That's what somebody would call somebody if they want to keep distance from him. Norton. Hey, Norton. No, that's an affectionate term. One celebrity greeting. Wait, I'll tell you what it yeah. is. It's a guy that's not sure he has the right name, 
So he says no tone. So that way, if he's wrong, he's like, "No, my name is Notinsky or whatever his name." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> oh, it's probably the that's damn good. truth. Uh, I don't like it. Well, this is the deal. I got the flyer in front of me. My two cents with Colin Quinn, comedian Colin Quinn's one-man play takes a funny and profound look at the crumbling of the American Empire. Yes. Yeah, and with his watchful oh. eye, examines the new chapter our country is entering. I hope a fucking fire breaks out in the entrance. A oh, profound fuck. look. This no, is Jim, that could injure a lot of people and maybe even kill oh, you're them. Right. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Take that back. This is a big day for Colin. Let's yes. be happy for Colin. Highbrow today. comedy delivered with the barroom sensibility. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that way you cover yourself that you're not going to be a pompous ass. Oh, I say it so the working good. man can God understand damn. it. That's funny. I <laughs> really am a fucking creep. The show starts May 6th here in New York City. Well, the easiest way to get tickets, Colin, because I can't read that website. ColinQuinn.com. All right, ColinQuinn.com. There you go. Very nice. And Bill Burns at Caroline's, a fucking fantastic club on Broadway and 49th. 212-757-4100. Hacking it up for six shows. You coming back tomorrow, Bill? Yeah, you are, right? I got nothing better to do. You and Richie Voss? And Iron Sheik. Yeah, maybe we should going to do a tag yes. team headlining. Oh, bye, guys. Yeah, we should go. I have Thanks, to take Colin. a lopey. That was a typical time. That yeah. Was, that was a good time. You're like, what are you doing back there? <laughs> I, feel like I'm watching, I feel like I'm watching obese TV. Oh, you just timing. You just yelled, waiting on you! I heard it in my headphones. Did, he, did they hear that over the uh, loudspeaker? Yes, they, everybody heard it. They heard it in the radio? No. So he just stepped know, on my fucking landed. bad joke? No, I heard it in my headphones, so I oh, can okay. hear your bad joke. Is uh, that Iraq angry today? My joke? No. So I'm looking at him in the glass. I said, I feel like I'm watching obese TV. It's like being at fucking. Uh, it's like being at the fucking. Uh, what, what's the water place you go to? Oh to, yeah. To see Sea World. Sea World. When you go down the <laughs> yes. stairs to look in in yes. the tank yes. instead of up, up from yes. above. And this as bad as episode was when I said episode. How about him going? What's the water place? I don't know. I don't go to vacation places. I'm the too busy creating. Water what a child. Yes. Uh, mommy, daddy, I want to. Go to the water place. <laughs> the water place we went oh. there last time. Oh, please. All right. Get to the water place off of Modesto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just counting all the good outs. That the would have been a good out, too. Yes, yes. I play with Little out. Connor. <laughs> exactly. Or Susan Smith's <laughs> pond garage. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been another good out right there. <laughs> I'm counting the good outs. <laughs>